So the higher heating value is also known as the gross calorific value of that fuel. And if we're looking at a piece of wood, uh, the sort of generic formula of wood, because it's a carbohydrate, is CH2 approximately, CH2O, um, because it's a polymer, it's something like that. So we're not going to get any energy from that part because that's already water. So the only part we're going to get energy from is the carbon. The conversion of carbon to carbon dioxide will release energy and that is what we can extract um, by using wood as a fuel. But at the same time we're doing that, this water component, this thing that is the water of constitution of wood, that's going to be evaporated and that will take energy. The higher heating value assumes that that water has been condensed during that process and that heat has been extracted. That's the sort of thing you get in condensing boilers. So that energy of vaporization of the water has been recovered. The lower heating value only takes account of the fact that you've got energy from burning that carbon and you've lost energy by evaporating that water. And that energy left over is recoverable. So that's called the lower heating value. So the lower heating value of methane will be whatever is used to make the carbon dioxide and then we make two water molecules that are going to be evaporated. So that's subtracted from that production of carbon dioxide. 